What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Take number seven, because I'm an idiot. Today we're going to talk about these foam and rubber training dummies from Virtual VTech. Quick disclaimer, I do run the social media for this company, so my opinion may be a little biased. This is just going to be some facts and uh, information about the dummy. I'm not going to give you pros and cons like I normally do, because... I don't think that's the right thing to do when I financially benefit from a company. But I have a lot of experience. I've been shooting these for years and I wanna go over the facts with you and just my experience in general. And I also wanna compare the facts to the other foam rubber type training companies out there. Again, no opinions, just what the differences are. I help you make an educated decision. So this company is a South African company. Everything is made in South Africa, painted in South Africa, comes on over here and is sold on the Amazon website. Link is in the video description if you wanna pick one of them up. So the company says they last between 500 to 1,000 rounds. In my opinion, I think they last a lot longer than that. You shoot them up, as you shoot them, especially the first time you see the red marks on here exactly where your shots are hitting, and then you can spray paint them and use them over and over and over again. In my experience, I'm comfortable saying these things last like a thousand rounds. Not an opinion of Virtual VTech, just my personal opinion, and it's really gonna vary depending on shot placement, caliber, the type of bullet, so many different variables. So it's very, very, very hard to put a number on, uh, but hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of rounds, they're going to last. Um, I've shot nine millimeter, 40, 45, 10 millimeter, 223, 556, 308. Those were all okay. 308 leaves some big holes. Um, I've done birdshot, no problem. Buckshot gets a little dicey. Uh, shotgun slugs, just for fun, we did it. It leaves a very big hole. 50 BMG, we did it. It leaves a really, really big hole. I don't recommend any of those, but any of the normal common calibers um, are good to go, especially 5.56 five, and 2.23. Uh, 22 LR as well, but those rifle rounds zip right through and barely leave a hole. So those are very, very easy for the dummy to absorb. Before I continue, quick uh, sponsor of the video, try I start trading they've come up with a bunch of new designs this is disobey maybe like top three the tiberius gib shirt they make is my favorite they have a ton of really good designs if you want to check them out the link is in the video description and if i'm talking a little faster than normal my buddy my neighbor put me on to these ghost energy drinks and oh my god they are so good all right these things only weigh about two and a half pounds so they're very easy to lug around and hang up comes with these two little plastic hooks you dig the hooks through these holes right here and then you can hang them on a target or a target stand. The other thing you can do with the holes that I like is I have uh, some one by threes that I put screws into and you put the one by threes into your target stands and then you can hang these on those target stands right through the screws and that allows you to have targets at different height. So I pretend three bad guys are coming at me. One's really tall, one's normal height, one's really, really short, a little person and you get to, you know, have fun and shoot people at different designs. So that's how you hang them. That's how you shoot them. That's the caliber. That's how you buy them. What else do I want to go over? The, uh, I know there was something else. The other companies who make these, so rubber dummies, for example, rubber dummies are great. I've, I've shot them. I've, I think I've reviewed them as well. Uh, they're going to last longer. They last a couple thousand rounds, but they're significantly heavier and they're significantly more expensive. So it's a trade-off. Again, I'm not giving opinions or anything, but they're like 50 pounds, four or 500 bucks, whatever they are, you can look it up, And uh, but they last longer. And then, um, so heavier, more expensive, but they last longer. The other company is Infinite Targets, Infinity Targets, whatever it is. Again, I've also reviewed their products. Nothing wrong with them. They're very, very, very heavy. Uh, in a good way as far as how long they last uh, you have to make sure you have some really really strong clips to hold them up and they're just like uh, the rubber material but like a, a uh, just a flat sheet is what I'm trying to say, like a cardboard sheet. And it has the etching on there cut out for uh, IDPA and all the different target systems that they have. And the same thing with all of them. You shoot them, spray paint over them. There's another one, TCR Targets, which is very similar. They have some small rubber targets you can shoot over and over. They have the bigger ones that you can shoot over. So those, all of those are heavy like the rubber dummies last a little bit longer uh, but they're not 3d design they're just flat sheets so this gives you a more realistic training in my opinion though so does the rubber dummy of a 3d kind of person like we've put shirt and hat on these and you're really only limited by your creativity any drill that you can think of that you want to do with a firearm for the most part can be incorporated with this and it's a great way to really elevate your training make it a little bit more realistic 
which I think is per, uh, important. We've done shoot, no shoot things with these as well. There's just so, so many options. Cardboard's great for shooting close up, but it's like a one-time use for the most part. Steel's great for that childish ding, but you can't safely shoot it close up. With this, gives you the best of both worlds. You can see your shots from far away because when you shoot the white, the, the, red, the red foam underneath shows through and you can safely shoot it close up to get that more realistic training. Hope you never need it, but it's good to have that realistic training because most of those bad encounters happen bad breath distance. I know I'm forgetting one really, really important thing and I apologize, I'm sorry. If you guys have any questions though, drop them down in the comments. I'm happy to answer them for you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Link in the video description, not only for the TriStar trading shirt, but also for the virtual VTech dummies. Uh, I name all of mine Walter. I think it's a good idea to name your dummies. I don't know why. I get a kick out of it. All of mine are named Walter. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.